Okay, so this video is to show you how to sew on a four hole button. The first thing I wanna do is, I'm gonna pretend that this is our pin cushion that we're making, and I don't want the knot to show on the back. So I'm actually gonna take the first little stitch just to anchor the knot of my thread on the front of the fabric, okay? So this way there's gonna be nothing showing on the back in terms of a knot. Then I'm gonna just slide my button onto the needle. And for this button, we wanna make a shank, which means we want our button a little bit off of the fabric. And if this were the real version, you would just use a pin, but here you could use, um, since it's so much larger, a chopstick. So I'm actually gonna put this underneath the button. And my first stitch is gonna go across this hole. And then down through both layers of fabric. And what it does, as you can see once I tighten it up here, is this gives a little bit of room underneath the button so that when we go to hook on our elastic or whatever we wanna button things to, um, there's some room under there. For these stitches, we're gonna take four stitches across these two first holes. And on the back, you want to make sure that your stitching is nice and neat. You basically want to come up and down through the same holes so that the back looks nice too. Because believe it or not, you will be looking at the back or the inside of your shirt. You know, if you sew a button on, you want it to look nice. So four stitches through the first two holes. Okay, and now my thread's on the back. I'm just gonna come up so that I can come up the next set of holes and take four stitches to secure these. Remember, try to keep that back of the fabric nice and neat. And all the time I am keeping this chopstick in here so that I have space underneath my button once I'm finished. Okay. All right, so my button's secure. And what I wanna do is finish this shank, all right? And I need to strengthen these stitches under here. Otherwise, you know, the act of putting the elastic on and off this button or putting a shirt um, buttonhole on and off the button can break the button and that's how they fall off. So to make the shank we put the needle up like we're going to go through a hole in the button, okay? But then we don't. We just come up right underneath the button and here's where I'm gonna remove my chopstick or if it's a small button your pin and see how it's a little bit loose? That's actually what we want. So you pull this thread all the way up and then wrap it around the button to secure it, okay? To knot this off, we just take our needle through our loop underneath, okay? A couple of times, that makes our knot. We can trim that off, and your button is all finished.